I went to school and that's what I grew up thinking I was going to be an elementary ed teacher. I hated elementary education, but I took a class in early childhood and said, this I can do, this makes sense to me. And so you taught where? Where'd you start? Where'd you Started move in Brownsville, and not in kindergarten. It wasn't pleasant, but then I got into kindergarten. And then after three years, they were asking me to do workshops to teach other people how to teach the way we were teaching. Then I went to Houston for four years, no, two years, and then I found out about Aramco applied and got the job, and there you have it. There was my life. 27 years abroad, most of them good, some of them in trouble. Well, why did you go there? Adventure. I was 27, and we didn't have to sign a contract. You know, you could, most companies make you sign a two year contract. We didn't have to. They could fire us or we could leave. And besides that, I was only 27 years old, and I knew my mommy wouldn't make me stay if I didn't like it. <laughs> so. I stayed because it was a good job. In the beginning, it was like being a college freshman with money to buy enough money to buy a pizza. So that's we stayed and we had a good time. And I have good friends from all over, now all over the states and some across the world. You said that some of the years, most of them were good, and some of them were what trouble? We kind of might have been a little bit wild when we first got there. Well, we were single girls in a role full of single men, so we were always invited everywhere. So we got to call the buses, they would send us the meat wagon, because a few girls met a few guys, but a lot of people didn't, so I didn't. I know I had, I had boyfriends, but I didn't meet anybody to stay with except just one, and he we didn't stay together. He was only there a little while. The teaching job was the best teaching job I ever could have have had. And one of the things I liked about it, I was able to teach the way I was taught to teach kindergarten, which isn't happening these days. My favorite part was teaching different social studies units. We had to do a six-week program on Saudi Arabia, but that was all right, too, because I didn't know anything about it. And all kindergarten units are based on family, housing, food, clothing. It's just those are the general curriculum goals. So I got there and they were already doing Chinese New Year, which was a lot of fun. We could, did all the Chinese customs with the kids. Another unit that we did was uh, Thanksgiving. And the, the principals cooked drumsticks for 160 kids. <laughs> so one year they were a little bit raw, but nobody got <laughs> sick. And they made, so they made all the food. They made their hats, they made the, their aprons, they made their um, bibs or whatever they called them. They, we made cuffs for them, all out of paper. And they, kids did it or you did it? Well, we had patterns and then they did it. At like pilgrims? Yes, like yeah. pilgrims. And then we had a Thanksgiving feast, again with the undone chicken. I also finally took a little bit of Brownsville to Saudi because I hadn't been home for char days for 27 years and I wanted to bring that to the thing. So again, with the culture, the clothing, the customs, the toys, the family, the markets were all done. So we did the same thing. They made a Mexican yo-yo, they made uh, placemats. These are all things we grew up with in Brownsville. But then we had a market in this big room that we'd set up as a marketplace. And so they went in and they each had a peso. So one class would sell to the other and they'd have a peso to buy their placemat, a peso to buy their whatever they had made. And they also had to buy tortillas and tomatoes and lettuce and onions and meat and whatever else the food was. Oh, a piece of fruit. And then we'd go back into the classroom and cook it, really and make cook it? really cook it, and make chalupas mm -hmm. with rice and beans and all that other stuff. And they ate it, and they ate it up. And that was probably my favorite because it took me home again. Sure.
have a map that you put together with a lot of markers on it right. for all the various places that you've traveled. Right. You have a number, don't you? It's almost 200. But that's not countries. That's also including a whole bunch in the States. But so your favorite place on Earth is? Antarctica. It's peaceful. The ice is amazing. The animals are there. It's mostly quiet. You can go and sit on the beach with 400,000 seals, not seals, uh, penguins. See the babies. It's serene. It's just beautiful and it's never the same. It's like people will say, why are you going so many times? Well, how many times did you go to the beach? Or somewhere else. That's your favorite place. So. I just love it. I would go back if I could in a heartbeat. A friend of mine used to tell me, um, just do it. If you can, just do it. Whether it's a trip or eat a pizza or go visit some friends, go to a concert, something that you really want to do because there's still places I wanted to go to that I can't do now. Maybe if I'm lucky, next week we'll go to see the Blue Bonnets. So we'll have to see about that. But mostly, not, and not regrets, just should have done it then, shouldn't have put it off, go now. Yeah. Even, yes, whether it's Food, sports, trips, family, marriage. Well, you might not want to get married and then do this. It might disturb the family scene. So that's, that's what I would tell people. It's enjoy what you can. And hopefully you have people who will enjoy it with you still. I know people would still drag me out of the house if I'd let them. But it's what happens. And I was able to revisit my life. There's two ways. It's sudden and you don't have anything prepared and you, you're done. My way, it's traumatic and... It can worry you, of why didn't I do this, why didn't I do that, but well, there's no point in woulda, shoulda, coulda, because you can't go backwards, no matter what it is you're thinking about. And you just have to keep carry on and enjoy. So we've been going through stuff all around the house, com company players, pictures, all kinds of things, just um, sorting and reliving and remembering. I get to do that. I got to revisit my life. So, two sides to every coin. <laughs>